action. Okay, right, welcome to Boyfriend Tag. I have a question. That's my, this is my big moment. This, this is a big moment, apparently. I'm excited. I'm excited. I have the best questions ever. <laughs> it's not very fair that you get to write the questions. <laughs> I don't get to review them. It's a them. boyfriend tag. Okay. If they're horrible, then we'll put them in. All right. Editor. Most requested question. How and when did you guys meet? That's the most requested. Yeah. It was really how and it was my birthday weekend, Saturday night at the club. February 25th. February 25th. Never forget it. It was a full moon. It was not a full moon. <laughs> For the story it was. <laughs> mm -hmm. We met at the club and... And my friend Sterling was talking to him. Shut up, Sterling. Way to look at our young Cupid, you know. And yeah, she told him that I was an Instagram model and that he should come meet me. I was immediately repulsed. Apparently that wasn't something your mom wants to do. In Los Angeles, you hear it every day. It's about yeah. a dozen. And then he came up and started talking shit to me about selling fit tea or something. Yeah, fit tea. I thought the fit tea joke was good. No offense to anyone who sells fit tea. And I was pissed, immediately jumped up, started talking shit. Well, no, first you asked what I did, and then I told you something equally as... Yeah, then he said he was a rapper. <laughs> which doesn't sound good in LA either, so... It's even. He started talking shit to me. And we kind of bonded on shit talking. Okay, and as we're walking out the club, I would like to say that somehow we exchanged numbers, which I don't even really remember doing. And then you but looked at me you... and you're like, oh my god, you're incredibly attractive. I would like to have your digits. He got different. my name wrong. And then I was I like, I never want to talk to you again. I never want to see your face ever again. And then I won't left the club. And that oh, was yeah, our last interaction. Oh yeah, you did do that. You did I was literally that. like... I was swimming upstream. He called me Brittany or something random. It was something extremely beautiful and flattering. And wrong. And wrong. Oh no. It's just like... But I, you, I only had the wrong name because you told me like three different names. Uh, like this is my real name, but like my friends call me this name. It's like my Instagram name, and they're like my AOL handle is like Skater Girl Seven Underscore. I'm like, okay, well, geez, I got a bit confused. I digress. That's how we met. Speaking of when we <clears> first <throat> met, what was your first impression of me, or the first thing you noticed about me? That you were an alpha female. Like you were like the leader of the pack. I could tell by this. A, you got hyped up. B, you kind of like were over everything, so you could tell that, you know, you didn't need attention. This is like at 1.30 in the morning, by the way. It's like the end I was sober. I had been drinking uh, coffee, because I don't drink. Okay, Miles. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the first thing I noticed about you was that you were a boss. You kind of came out like a boss bitch. Then I immediately noticed the next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Squad leader. And I was like, damn, all right. Miles. I just remember Take like the the pack. vaguely seeing Miles frantically running back and forth. Not frantically, but like I just kept noticing because he kept leaving and walking back. Or you would like go outside and you just wouldn't see Yeah, I'm never frantic. <laughs> you looked perturbed. <laughs> like he was in a bad mood because his friend like bailed him. Which all worked out because I actually didn't even want to go out that night and he dragged me out. And if he wouldn't have gone back with his girlfriend, like, yo, we're gonna go try to hash things out and left me there, I would have never met you. So crazy how it works. Destiny. It's child. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great band, I'm sorry. Where was our first date? Whoa, I know this one. Where? Katsuya. Yeah. Katsuya. Sushi. Which is interesting because I don't like seafood. She doesn't like seafood, but she did like seafood on that occasion because obviously it was seafood bought by me. He knew what he was ordering. We went in and I remember like being sort of impressed by him because we went in, he already knew everyone there because clearly he's been there a few times. And then they sat us down and then he ordered us everything without a menu. He just ordered us like a bunch of stuff. I go there all the time because I lived across the street and it's delicious and the spicy edamame. Oh my god. And then he made me try all these things that are like raw fish and I actually like them. But there was a, we got the Wagyu, so it wasn't just fish. Yeah. So I was trying to be accommodating. That was good though. Compromise. You know, compromise is key in relationships. I was impressed. And he also paid the bill and I never saw the bill, which I thought was also kind of impressive. I was like, oh, are we going to split the check? That's what you go to do at the end of the date. It just makes it less awkward when you already like kind of take care of it. So it's like, yeah, let's get out of here. And you're like, well, what about the check? It's like, all right, we took care of it. It's pretty swag. Swagger. Take those boys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How long did we date before we made it official or exclusive? Um, I mean, it was always kind of exclusive, at least on my part. I don't know about your part. Really, Miles? Really? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> um, pretty quickly. 
I mean, we went on a couple dates and then I was, we were hanging out all the time. Yeah. I was very adamant that I did not want a boyfriend. I said that a bunch of times while we were hanging out because I just moved to LA. It was like the first weekend that I was here that I met you, the second weekend. But then we ended up, we hung out so much. I, obviously, I wasn't interested in anyone else. But like, she wanted stupid. to hang out all the time. I was like, oh, wait. I was like, come on, hang out with me. Thanks, Please. Michael. You're like, Please, I, I beg of thee. <laughs> I was like, beg of thee? Who says beg of thee? He was the one that I want to make you my girl. I oh, never, what is this, baby oh, boy? You did not talk like, like that? You did not talk like that? I didn't say I want to make you my girl. Like you not in that accent. Just me, you, and Jesus, we're going to find you. That was your word. No, I did, I was smitten quickly, very quickly. I was smitten. And, oh, uh, see, we should do this more often. You know, a couple weeks. Oh, yeah. It wasn't very long before we were kind of like, oh, we're dating. After... Falling when I started calling you my boyfriend the condition? That was right after, because mm -hmm. whatever happened. Yeah. Oh, nothing <laughs> happened before. Stay tuned for what happened in mom. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> All right, next question. When's our anniversary? March 6th, 2017. Who's the better shit talker? Me. You? Obviously, I'm the better shit talker. I'm way more sad. You're a cuter shit talker. Like, you're cute. You're like, beep, 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 beep. But Miles is mean. You get mean. That's the point of shit talking is you're supposed to be mean. No, but you like poke at personal things that are not nice, like me being fat. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Retro, record screech. Did you not do that? Before? Calling all Jeff. editors. Calling all editors. <laughs> Ashley, Ashley. I didn't ne I never called her fat. I never ever said that. And I would never think that. He said it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna do what he said. But it was not nice and we were in like It was over like 0. 0.6 pounds or something. I was like, I'm not a little worried about 0. 0.6 pounds or something like that. <laughs> it was something extremely hilarious and well said, well thought out, and perfectly delivered. Are our star signs compatible? When's yeah. my birthday? Your birthday is February 23rd, 1990. And when's my birthday? April 25th, 89. Whoa, she does like it. And he's a Taurus and I'm a Pisces. So that's definitely compatible. It depends yeah. on what Chinese food placemat you're looking at, but. You know, in China, I'm a horse and you're a snake, which means we're not compatible. <laughs> yeah, big old snake. Why, why? Do I have a nickname or do you have a nickname for me? <laughs> yes. There's two, <laughs> neither of them are very nice. Whoa, what's They're that? not me, but. Well, sweet potato, tater tot. And? What did you pull up pictures of? I <laughs> just had a nickname. I pulled up a picture of a street stump. Or a, a tree stump. stump. <laughs> tree, okay. A I stump. pulled up a picture of a tree stump. Tree stumps. But a magical tree stump. And he says, my little stump. <laughs> no, I did not say it like stump. that. I say it like a... Like a short, fat tree stump. <laughs> no, a magical one from the medieval era. He literally pulled up pictures of stumps on his phone to show me. <laughs> Not multiple stumps. I pulled up one tree stump, the first tree stump that I Google saw. It was Google Images. <laughs> yeah, tree stumps. <laughs> because think about it. Who's Googling tree stumps? <laughs> Not many people are. Um, and he also calls me Sweet Potato Tater Tot. Or Tot. Tot. My little Tot. I figured he was called you Babe. babe. You don't, no, you have no nicknames for me. It's usually just, why haven't you called me that? <laughs> Jump off the bridge. Don't think like that. <laughs> Number one nickname is why are you like this? That's for sure. Why are you like this? Can you hit him with it? <laughs> okay, if we sit down and watch a movie together, what snack would you choose or would I choose? Oh. <laughs> oh man. I can't use this first. Miles would choose. Well, hold on. You don't know me like that. You can't just dive right into my snack choices. You've been dating, but. <laughs> Get a corn popcorn, or a red bunker, and then he'd pick sour Skittles. Star whoa, 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 not sour Skittles, sweet and sour. Sweet and sour Skittles, sorry. Family size, ideally, you know, because just in case you gotta share. Sweet sour Skittles, Starburst, he does a lot, and sweet tarts. Here's a question within a question. What's my favorite Starburst? The stupid red. Hey, keeper. Like okay. That's my snacks. Your snacks are. Well, it depends on are you allowing yourself to eat snacks or are you like getting mad when I try to throw snacks at you? Because your number one favorite are the Reese's Big Cups. Reese's Big Cups are a major key for you. You also like the peanut butter Snickers. You also, oh my God, we need to go to Ralph's. What about a snack though? 
number one snack that you like that I also like though is the chili. What are those pop crisps? Sweet pop chips. Wait, we need to end this interview right now. I need to go to Rouse and get these pop oh, chips. Really oh my good. god, I would literally give up my entire life to just. Those be are like a dieting snack. A though. brand ambassador. What is the non-diet snack that we both want to see? What is it? Remember when we were at your place and you were like you're so proud of yourself because you got all these candies that I liked. You got a not candy. A non candy that you like. Salt. Oh, chips and salsa. Yeah. Oh, well, that's everyone's. I mean, we I always get chips and salsa. I know because it's my favorite. Chips and salsa. I got that one right like three minutes later after you told me the answer. <laughs> exactly. But, Did you know who I was before you met me? Hell no. Obviously no. I don't even think he knew I was a YouTuber until like our third date. I didn't even care until like three months in. <laughs> what do you think about me being a YouTuber? I think it's fun. I like stealing the show every time. Do you watch my videos? No. Just kidding. I do. I, I watch the ones that you've been, like, I've become a bigger fan. Like, I'm starting to watch them more. I don't really go back and watch them. Well, yeah. How do you feel about being on camera? I love being on camera. In many ways. Oh, oh, screw yourself up. Why are you like this? What's it like dating someone in the public eye? Have fans seen and stopped? Oh my gosh. What's it like dating someone in the public eye? It's amazing. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. It's shit. Whoa! No, it's not shit. No, it's awesome. It's frustrating. I don't know. I don't really think about it. I don't think of you like in the public eye. He got stopped in Venice walking I have around. been stopped before. You're like, oh, are you that really attractive guy that's dating Nikki? And I'm like, thank you so much. I really, <laughs> I really appreciate that. You don't have to mention how attractive I am <laughs> to me. You can talk amongst your friends about that. No, I've been stopped in public. Are you dating Nikki? And I'm like, yes. They're like, okay, we don't care about you. We really care about Nikki. And I'm like, yeah. Until Nikki said hi. Hi. <laughs> they asked if you could do a live Instagram weekly. And can we do more live sessions? Of course, I want to do more live sessions. I like going live. I am. It's fun on his thing. Because on mine, I get too many questions in it. Like, I can't keep up with them. But on his, I feel like you can actually communicate. And like, you can really see the trolls on mine, too. They pop up like, fuck you, man. <laughs> you suck. You're so you're stupid. You're so stupid for living. Have you ever had a cat before or is Prime your first like cat interaction? Um, okay. First of all, Max is definitely hands down the first cat I've ever liked. No offense to all you cat lovers out there. I'm not a huge cat guy. Always been a dog guy just because I got enough shit I got to deal with in my life. I don't want to come home and, you know, fight for the affection of my pet. Which cats you usually do. <laughs> They're like hiding in the car. Like, man. Like, I buy your food, I feed you, you, like me. But Max, I love Max. There's something about Max, I don't know. I recognize myself in him. I used to kill moths all the time. Moths? And lick myself. <laughs> moths. <laughs> Who is the dominant one in the relationship? Hey, good to see you guys. I'm Miles. Nice to meet you. Um, it's an honor to be here. You're dominant? Yeah, just because you wear a choker doesn't make you dominant. <laughs> I really think you're the dominant one. I mean, I wear the pants. I mean, I'm the one who chops down the trees. Actually, do you think he's the dominant one in my relationship? Well, dominant doesn't mean just bossing around. <laughs> you boss me around more than I boss you I around. Think but he tries to be, but... She's the dominant one because happy girl is a happy world, which is the step below happy wife's happy life, right? Um, what's the first thing I do in the morning? Check your Instagram. I do email Twitter. She Twitter. does her finger curls as soon as she wakes up. She does three sets of a thousand. I don't uh, get up and pee on the toilet seat. Oh my god, I peed on the toilet seat one time because. Twice. Because he goes in there like half asleep. Don't you know anything about pets? Like when they're anxious, they pee on the. <laughs> <laughs> they pee on the toilet seat. Miles, Miles, gets up, Miles gets up and takes a bath. Typically. What? I feel like you do that pretty. Yeah, when I'm in Caesar mode, sometimes I'm in Caesar mode, I wake up, I go, oh, and I take a bath. But not always. The first thing I do is I usually, I didn't say that. but if this is the version we're going to show to her parents, the first thing I do is worship her. I love Michael. I do always say that. <laughs> say that. Well, that's another question. Because your pillows are comfy. So. 
<laughs> oh, have you dropped the L-bomb yet? Yeah, she won't stop using it. <laughs> and if you said I love you first? I said it first. So I was trying to tie her down. It's true. He said it over a text message, which I thought was like... Yeah, I, I jokingly said it over a text message then that one night. No, you said it in person before that, though. But you said it like in like a very joke way, like, oh, I'm talking about you. Like, I love yeah. you, man. Like, not even like a... I got punched you in the shoulder. I was like, I love you, bro. That was funny. She's fine too. So he said it over text message, and then I said, you can't drop the L-bomb. And then we started saying L asterisk asterisk asterisk. That was my idea, and I thought that was kind of cool. So for all you guys out there that want to express your feelings without feeling lame or like a bitch, then you just put L asterisk asterisk asterisk. That's what L is. <laughs> okay, they want to know. Oh, shit. Do you write me songs, and are any of your songs written or inspired by me? Um, you're definitely an inspiration. You're my muse. And like little one-liners. Yeah, little things here and there inspired. And like the one song was inspired out of the opposite of you. Benefits. This is not lame. <laughs> can't say that. <laughs> Benefit doesn't sound lame. I mean, that's how the creative process works. I was thinking like how Nikki's one of my best friends, more than just my girlfriend. And about how like I want to... So the camera cut us off. But I think that's a good point to... No, I don't feel good about this at all. Hiss. And that concludes part one of the perfect couple that is Miles and Nikki. <laughs> Ding. We're fucking perfect. Okay, that's the end of part one of Boyfriend Tag. Add me on LinkedIn. <laughs> so that concludes part one after Ashley sabotaged us. <laughs> <laughs> part one Boyfriend Tag. <laughs> questions you have, any other questions that we didn't answer that you have? Comment down below, and we'll answer them in part two. If part two does well at the box office, there'll be a part three. We'll just keep going until you guys hate us. <laughs> until you absolutely hate us. Until there is no subscribers left. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.